So this equation or this question starts off with an absolute value equation that says the absolute value of x minus 1 is equal to 8. The question goes on to say, if x is a solution to the given equation, what is a possible value of x minus 1? So the very first thing that comes to mind is that I could simplify this question. Right? I could simplify the equation here. I can find two x values. Um, we can kind of even do this mentally, right? What does x, what are the two values of x that would make this true? Well, if x were equal to 9, right? If I put a 9 in here for x, 9 minus 1 would equal 8, would equal 8 so that would work. I can also say x is equal to negative 7, right? Because if I put a negative 7 in for x, then negative 7 minus 1 is negative 8, but the absolute value of negative 8 is positive 8. So these are the two x values that I could get. But I also pay attention here to the fact that I have an x minus 1 here and here. So we already know, right, that the absolute value of x minus 1 is equal to positive 8. There are only two ways for that to happen. That is, if x minus 1 is equal to positive 8, right, because, why? Because the absolute value of 8 is equal to 8. Then the other option is if what's inside the absolute value is negative 8. Why would that be the case? So again, just so we're clear, if x minus 1 equals 8, we'd get this scenario. If x minus 1 equals negative 8, we'd get this scenario where I'd have a absolute value of negative 8, which is also equal to positive 8. So the question says, if x is a solution to the given equation, what is a possible value of x minus 1? Well, x minus 1 could equal 8 or negative 8, right? Which means answer choice A has to be the correct answer.